Okay, I've just taken a phone call from somebody who wanted to see this data over Google Maps. And I'm running quite nicely now. I have uh, active display light running, which is doing my pop population for me. It's put my flags and registrations all looking nice and tidy. And everything's laid out how I like it. So I can uh, close that up a bit and have a bigger screen if I like. But that, that does for me. So I'm going to minimise all of that. We're going to pop onto the internet. Different website to the usual one. We want virtualradarserver.co.uk. It's one of my favourite programs, um, or one of my favourite add-ons. Click on download, virtual radar server, no mucking about, just click on the exe, save it, um, and it's all there for you. Very simple, very straightforward. There's um, various add-ons and bits and pieces. Explore the site and do that afterwards. I'm not going to cover what you need to do um, once you've downloaded it I'm just going to cover getting it up and running if we go to our normal computer name downloads virtual radar setup run it away yes we're happy to run it shut that down out of the way click next if you don't accept the terms it won't run so have a read through make sure you're happy click next and install leave everything to default um, that little screen popped up because I've installed it before but I've just removed it for the exercise of showing you install um, it's asking about a port if you understand the ports then you'll know what it's about and need explaining if you don't leave well alone click next virtual radar um, is what the shortcuts called I'm just going to call it virtual radar server no reason other than you can I think it's a nice touch that it gives you the option to uh, rename the, the tab configure Windows firewall so other computers can access the virtual radar server I click here and next and install and away we go so it's now installed and we're ready to run the program for the first time virtual radar pin it to the taskbar as I've told you before I like all my programs down the bottom here that comes from using a Mac I think and liking stuff at the bottom of the screen right first of all tools options let's have a look here um, all we're interested in really base station that's what I use so the address we'll leave that as is that's where it is everything's default again if you don't understand what all this does leave it alone this one here is default database of where you'll find the database for your operator flags and your SQB file if you've got silhouettes you can put those in if you've got pictures you can put those in otherwise click OK leave well alone then once that's in just click on the virtual radar tab here with the address and that will pop an internet browser when it's loaded take a moment to process some data because as you can see the rate it's going it's processing a lot of messages there we are so I have a nice um, Heathrow Airport here, aircraft flying by it. What I like is that's reasonably well zoomed in. Um, I can zoom a bit closer if I want to, just for the hell of it. If you want, you, if you don't like the landscape, you can actually have a map, whichever you prefer. I prefer to have a satellite picture. I also prefer to take off all the labels when I'm looking at aircraft. But generally when I'm looking at it, it's nice to know Bedfront Lakes Country Park I know where that is so it just gives me a relation to where it is one of the downsides of looking at this image is this aircraft here isn't an aircraft that's flying by it's one that's on the image uh, whereas if we go map it's not the same as the uh, the ones that you're going to see flying around so there we are here comes one over here if I click on it there's what it is um, let's have a look another one here fly Ryanair again, uh, EasyJet. Oops, sorry about that. The problem is the list is moving quite quickly. Okay, there's an EasyJet one. It's given his call sign as his flight number, which is nice because it means it can look up and tell us it's going from Manchester to Pathos. So there we are. Now, if I go back here, if I show network address. If I pop that address into my iPad, iPhone or whatever, and I'm connected to the same network, 
I can view the data on there which is useful but also what's useful is I can open up a second window so I can have one zoomed out and I can put the labels back on if I want um, so zoomed out zoomed in click of a button like that with the maps so there you go nice simple short and sweet add-on to uh, enhance the look and if you want to go back to where you were just click there and there's base station there's active display light so we're running nice and uh, populated loads of operator flags registrations and all the information we need to give us uh, a nice display over google maps enjoy see you on the next video